Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Dirty HD, and today we are going to be looking at the most ungrateful rich kids on the freaking internet. If you enjoy the video, please do hit that thumbs up button, and if you are brand new around here, please do hit that subscribe button and help me get to 4 thousand subscribers and if you want to keep up to date to all my latest uploads and live streams hit that bell next to the subscribe button okay now i can understand this one this kid only got two thousand one hundred dollars for his birthday or her birthday so she is pissed off she's saying thanks dad what like why the fuck are you in my life man you're just giving me two thousand one hundred dollars for my birthday like i can understand that if my dad came up to me and gave me two thousand one hundred dollars for my birthday I'll be like, who who the fuck do you think I am? Do you think I'm a homeless person? Fuck off. Fuck right off. That's what I would be like. Are you fucking joking? $2,100 and you're saying thanks, dad, with a sad face. Do you, that can buy you a fucking shit ton. That is two weeks wages for me. Okay, just under. Well, under by a little bit. Like, okay, no, not two weeks. Two months, I meant. For some people, that is two months wages. That is two months wages and you're saying, oh, for one day. So she got that in one day for doing nothing, not working, nothing, just just for being born, just to celebrate her birthday. So she got $2,100 and fuck no, she probably got a shit ton of other stuff and she's just saying, oh, I just got $2,100 for my birthday. Thanks, dad. Like, fuck your dad. Fuck you. All right. Like, come on. Who's that? Okay, yeah, if I was rich, I would give my child something like that for their birthday. But if they said, if they said only $2,100, thanks, Dad, with a sad face, I would take that back and I would burn it in front of her. I would go up to her or his room. I would take everything I've brought for my child out of their room. I would go outside, put it all outside, make a bonfire and fucking burn it all. She will be sleeping on the floor for the next year if she did that to me. All right? If my child did that to me, she, she would be sleeping on the floor. No, hell no. I'll give her away. I'll pretend I'm all cuckoo in the head and she will get adopted by another family. I don't want a child like that. Fuck that. I mean, quite clearly, this kid wanted a yellow Lamborghini and he is not fucking happy that he got a green one. Now, if I got a yellow Lamborghini, I would not be happy. I would be so fucking ungrateful. I wouldn't care that it's a green one. I'll tell my dad, go back to that shop and get me a yellow one. I don't want this shit. I want a yellow Lamborghini. I mean, come on. It's a Lamborghini. Green looks nice too. Why the fuck would you want a yellow one? Come on, it doesn't matter. You've got a Lamborghini. Your parents suck. Hmm. I'm sorry about that. Can I have a Lamborghini? I'll take it off your hands right now. I do not care what colour it is. It could be pink. Alright? It could be pink. I'll just black out the windows. Doesn't doesn't know I'm driving it, but I'm still in a Lamborghini. They know someone's in that Lamborghini. Couldn't decide. Daddy got me all five. Okay? So, obviously, as you can tell... I couldn't decide what color. I couldn't decide what color I wanted, so I went and got all five iPhones. Daddy got me all five iPhones just because I couldn't decide a fucking color. If I if I went to a shop with my dad and I asked him for an iPhone and he said which one do you want and I was like hmm I don't know what color I want. He'd be like well you either pick a color or I'm picking a color or we just don't get any of the fucking phones and you don't we just go home with nothing because I ain't gonna wait here for you to decide. Just pick a fucking color. It does it does it really matter all right all five okay if you had a favorite two colors right just buy those two then not all five i bet you like yellow who likes the yellow phone who likes that yellow phone i don't how is she even going to use those iphones how is she going to use all five at the same time is she going to be like hmm i'll message daddy on one i'll message mummy on the other i have one for my friends I have one for my hairdresser and I have one for my dog. My dog can have one. Or actually no, yeah. We'll have we'll ha we'll FaceTime my dog 24/7 because daddy will pay for the phone bill when the internet comes through. We'll just FaceTime my dog 24/7 so I can always see what little puffy bear or whatever the fuck she's probably got a chihuahua. Li little blah, 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 blah. 
we'll just see what's going on, all right? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. That's how we'll use those five phones together. I'll go get five SIM cards. I'll go get five contracts so I can have unlimited data and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Well, maybe I'll have a toilet phone. I'll have a bedtime phone. I'll have a school phone. I'll have a holiday phone and I'll have a swimming pool phone. Fuck knows what she's going to do with all five of those phones. I don't... Like, come on. One phone's enough. I don't I don't know why you need five phones. Like, why? Now, <laughs> this picture, all I'm saying, okay, first car. So this kid could be 17 if he's in the UK or I don't know what it is in America, whether it's 16 in America or 17 in America. I have no idea what it is for you, like, when you can drive. But daddy promised me a Ferrari. Like, you got a Porsche. Bad first car. My first car is a Mazda 2004. I would kill for a car like that. Do you know how much the insurance is going to be as well if it's your first car? That means you just passed. Alright? You have just passed. You might not even pass. You might have an L plate on your car. Alright? And you're saying that's your first car. The insurance is probably half the price of the car. Why, like, I don't get, oh, rich people, they're smart because they've got a lot of money. They, they manage to get a lot of money. But they are also dumb as fuck when they're saying bad first car. I don't know whether it's snobby, like, whether they're being snobby or, I don't, these pictures are going to get me mad, okay? These pictures are going to get me mad because, oh, no, the fact that he's upset that he didn't get a Ferrari, but got a Porsche. Like, why would you be upset on getting a Porsche just because you didn't get a Ferrari? I don't get these children, man. Now, I've got two questions for this kid, all right? What is he doing with that much money in school? Why do you even need that much money in school, right? And my second question is, what is this fucking kid doing taking a shit in a school toilet? I don't know if it's just me, but I never took a shit in my school toilet once, alright? Not even when I needed a shit. I would always wait till I got home because, I don't know, I just can't take shits anywhere else except from my house. It has to be my house. But what is this kid doing with this much money? Where did he even get this much money? I bet you he just took it from daddy's little safe. Daddy's little safe. Oh, I know the combination. Let's try to be cool. I don't know what currency it is, whether it's Canadian dollars, whether it's... I don't know what fucking currency it is. If it's euros, but that is a lot of money because he's got a lot of it, so it makes no difference, all right? It could be fucking yen, and that still looks like a decent amount of money for a fucking person at school to have. In school as well, you don't need that much money in school. What are you going to do? Buy the fucking toilets. Rent the fucking hall or something. What are you going to do with that much money in school? Alright, now, I don't know too much about cars, but that looks like a damn nice car. I think it could be a Rolls Royce, so don't fucking roast me if it's not. Um, but, yeah, a present for passing your fucking driving test. You got that car for passing your driving test. When I passed my driving test, I just got well done and a little card. I got a card. Yeah, I'm going to be the ungrateful bitch now because look at that. Why would your parents give you that car when you've just passed? You know you're going to scrape it up or something. You're going to make one, one mistake and that's going to happen. You are going to fuck up so badly. And then, then what are you going to do? Claim it on your insurance and how mad... No, how mad would the insurance be for a car that's probably worth like a hundred grand? I've looked up, I think it was, I don't even know, because that car's going to have like a big ass engine. I don't know, but I looked up when I pass, I think it was like a really cheap ass car with a big engine. And they, they wanted to charge me £40,000 a year, £40,000 a year to get insured on it. Alright, so I don't know how much that fucking car is going to be, but why would someone, like, ugh, why? I don't get it. Like, that's insane. <laughs>
<laughs> that is insane. Now, I don't know whether this kid is depressed or what, but I hate my backyard. Look at that fucking backyard. That looks like something in a fucking fantasy film or something. That looks like something magical, like something in fucking Peter Pan or something. That... How are you... How do you hate that backyard? You've got like a swimming pool with a waterfall going into it, a jacuzzi. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, that backyard is probably worth more than my fucking house. <laughs> that backyard probably, like, the amount of money that probably went into that backyard to get that landscape, to get all the rocks, to get the waterfall, to get all the plants like that, to get the jacuzzi, to get the swimming pool... That probably costs more than my fucking house. I could I could say like that and it's probably in a nice area as well. So that land plus all of that landscaping and all that shit probably costs more than my house. And this kid hates hates the backyard. I would die for that backyard. If I had that backyard, I would never leave my house. I would just be in that water, just chilling under the sun. Like, oh, I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this fucking kid, bro. I hate my backyard. <laughs> that is not a normal backyard. A normal backyard is grass, a tree, maybe a path, um, some garden furniture. That's a normal fucking backyard. That, that's a magical backyard, okay? Magical backyard for fucking fairies to hang out in. That's what that is. So, there's a couple things I want to point out about this one. This kid is wearing a Rolex. He's got the black American Express card, which is the one where they invite you to it because you spend a lot of money, put a lot of money on your cards, and you are practically a billionaire, right? And he's spreading fucking butter with that card just to show off his black Amex because he couldn't find a knife. Maybe it's in the sink or in the kitchen drawer. I don't believe you can't find a fucking knife. It's either going to be in a sink, in a dishwasher, or in the kitchen drawer where you keep your fucking cutlery. Alright, where else are all of the knives going to be? No, someone stole my knives. To be honest, someone probably would steal, steal his knives because they're probably made out of gold or sterling silver or something. Or fucking diamonds. I bet you his fucking cutlery is made out of diamonds. But just because he couldn't find a knife, he's using his fucking card, taking a picture of it. Daddy only got us a four-story house. Okay, my, my house is two. It's got two floors. She's got four. She or he. Well, I'm going to assume it's a she because she's always say daddy. Little princesses say, daddy got me this. Daddy got me that. Okay, so four stories, right? And she's saying only, only got us four stories only now to me this looks like a big fucking house it doesn't even look like a small four stories like it could be like a one room on every floor that would be small and okay i'll be like cool like maybe she's not happy because maybe her parents could buy a bigger house than that or something like that but this looks like a fucking massive house and she's still complaining. It doesn't matter if her dad can buy a bigger house than that. Maybe he fucking doesn't want to. It's his fucking money. Like, come on. Four stories. Like, do you need a bigger house than that? Why do you need a bigger house than that? What are you going to do? Do you want a taller house? So you want a skyscraper. That's what she wants. She wants to live in a fucking skyscraper. Like, how tall do you want your house to be? And then you just got your dog chilling there. Like, and you're still sad. Look at that cute little dog. And you're still putting a sad face. You ungrateful twat. That's what she is. She's an ungrateful twat. And I bet you there was more complaints after. Look, 36 seconds on a story or sending to someone. She's complaining even more. And I don't even know. I don't have any of the other pictures. But I bet you she complained even more. Like, some, oh, these rich kids, I want to see all of these rich kids on an island, okay? I want to see all of them on an island with a little bit of food and some supplies and s see how quickly they die. To be honest, they'll probably try to swim back home and die 
within an hour or something. I bet you they wouldn't even last two minutes. They would probably slit their throats or something. They would kill themselves. Or they would just go, no, they would go crazy. Like, they would go mentally cuckoo within a minute. That's how fucking useless these kids are. I don't care. These kids are useless. They would be awful. Like, normal teenage kids are awful like us. We are awful. But these ones, these ones are a special species, man. They are special. They are completely different species. I don't get this. Like, how can you have your child so spoiled? Like, because they must talk. They must talk and act like it around their parents as well if they're saying that. Like, if my child did that, bang, I would be beating them. I don't have a child at the moment, so relax. But I would go ape shit if, if, if she said that to me. I was like... I was like, I brought a four-story house. And she was like, you only brought a four-story house? I would go mental. I'd be like, bitch, what are you doing? You're at school getting straight Ds. I bet you she's getting straight Ds. She's probably paying off her teachers to get A's or something. Like a like a lap dance or something. Or she's some next slut or something like that. Right? Because I don't get how... Like, how can you be complaining about a four-story house? Just how? Okay. So, this person had an Aston Martin, all right? And now, because he crashed it, because he's a twat, right? He's a fucking twat, and now he's complaining that he's driving a Bentley. Crashed the Aston, now driving this. How ungrateful can you be? Like, yeah, I would be mad if I crashed an Aston Martin. But I wouldn't be like, oh, now I'm driving this Bentley. Woo. Like, come on now. How rich can you be to be saying, oh, I'm only driving a Bentley. Like, I don't get, like, these people just want to brag. They just want to show off. They would just, I bet he's probably got a dick this big. This big. Microscopic. See? Look, my fingers are together. Like, they are touching together. Yeah? His dick's probably that big microscopic like an inch of where one of my little particles on my fucking fingers isn't touching that's probably how big it is that's probably why he needs to show off like this and say oh i'm only driving a bentley all i'm saying this looks like one of the fucking queen's houses right and this person is saying dad only got a four million dollar house it's so big it can't even fit on the screen of a portrait snapchat Look, you can see on the left-hand side, there's still more going. How ungrateful can you be? Like, do you really need a house bigger than that? Like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> that house is so big, and yet this kid is saying, Dad only got a $4 million house. Yeah, that Dad only got a $4 million house. Imagine if this guy brought a normal fucking house, a normal house, like 600 grand, a normal house. Imagine, this kid would probably be close to committing suicide. He'd be like, Dad, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't know what that accent is, I, it's like kind of South London, I don't know, something to do with that, but I don't know. But seriously, you're complaining over a $4 million house. I bet you she couldn't, she or he couldn't even walk the entire length in under a minute. Let alone run it. No, run it in under a minute. And yet she's complaining that he only got a $4 million house. I don't get this. People are like, the rich are stupid. That's all I'm saying. Most, okay, I'm not going to say all because some of them aren't. The rich people's kids, most of the, nearly all, there's probably 1% that aren't, 1%, but the rich people's kids are fucking stupid. That's all I'm saying. They are stupid as fuck and ungrateful as fuck and their parents are shit parents. I don't care. Spoiling your kid like that is nothing. <laughs> like... Or, like, making them that spoiled to be sad that you brought only a $4 million house. Like, fuck off, man. Now, this is one of our last ones, and this is a good one. 
because yeah, I I was just driving my Lambo. Um, I put the roof down. I went in. I just pulled up alongside of a shop. I just wanted to get a sausage roll or something, and then it started raining. Started trickling down with a little bit of rain. I come out and there's rain on my car. I get straight on my fucking phone to buy another Lamborghini because I cannot drive this shit. This shit is ruined. It's got a couple raindrops on my car and this shit is absolutely ruined. It's undrivable. I need a new one right fucking now. Now, come on, okay? Just get a cloth, a towel, something. Your shirt, your hat, a tissue. A tissue could fucking mop that rain up. Hell, you could probably... That's like licking your car. If you licked your seat, this 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 person would want a new Lambo. That's what you need to do. You need to go up to rich people's cars, say, can I have a ride? They'll be like, yeah, right? If they say yes, you get in their car, you lick their fucking seat. You go all over their seat and they'll just be like, you can have this fucking car. You just ruined it, mate. You just fucking ruined my car. I'm just going to buy another one. Take this because no one can fucking drive this. This is scrap metal now. Nobody can fucking drive this car because it is so fucking damaged. It's got a little bit of saliva in your car. Yeah, what happens if they spill a drink in their car? Oh, fuck. I'm going to buy a new fucking Lamborghini because I spilled a drink. <sighs> I hate people. I hate people. It's, I love you guys, but I hate people. Like, come on, man. I do not get this. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.